Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video we're going to be talking about nomics. Over the last couple of weeks and months we've been receiving a lot of questions about what is nomics, how do they construct their data, where do they get their data from, and so on. So this video is going to answer all of your questions. It's going to talk about all of the different components of the website and how you can use them to pick out the data that matters the most to you. As you can see, we're currently on their home page. This is the page where you can see all of the different assets that are available across different exchanges. You can see the market cap, the price, the change in value of that asset over the last 24 hours, their seven day price predictions, the volume for the asset over the last 24 hours, and more data as well. This sort of data is very similar to what we see on other websites like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, where they aggregate data across exchanges. And then with that data, they provide these metrics so that customers can analyze the data and learn more about the assets. Let's do a quick deep dive into one of the assets. Let's select Bitcoin. Once you've selected an asset, you can see the same information at the top, but they do have additional information as well. The price graph is one of the more interesting elements of this display right here, not because it's the price of the asset, but because they also have overlaid the prediction of the asset seven days in the future. This little gray dotted line is their prediction for what the price of the asset should have been seven days from the prediction date. In order to calculate those values, they use machine learning models to analyze candlestick data and then make their prediction. Besides the price of the asset and the price prediction, we also have a nice little widget here for converting from one asset to another asset. We have a discussion on the daily performance and some other stats and then a whole slew of different stats that you can dig into on their website. So you can see where the different volumes being executed, how much of that volume is coming from different uh, exchanges or different components. Uh, you also see a comparison of the market cap relative to the rest of the market cap. So all of this information is great for whether you're experienced, whether you're a novice trader, Anybody can leverage this data in order to make decisions about how they would like to construct their portfolio, which assets they would like to invest in, and so on. And then down below, we have a discussion on Bitcoin and what Bitcoin is. We have some links to websites, their white paper and Reddit. And then we continue to have more and more data. The Bitcoin markets goes through the top markets for Bitcoin uh, across different exchanges. Of course, Binance is at the top, but I think we will stop there because then it kind of gets into more niche sorts of things like historical data for people who need that data and so on. So let's go back to the main website right now. Okay, great. So now that we're here, one of the components that we've gotten a lot of questions about is their seven day predictions. The seven day predictions can be found on the homepage of the Nomics website. It's right here, this section right here. Hovering over this icon, you can learn a little bit more about the price predictions. But essentially, like I mentioned previously, they use machine learning models to generate these predictions uh, seven days in advance. So let's look at the Bitcoin prediction. Nomics predicts Bitcoin will be worth $10,322. This is a price increase of nearly 1%. And they have a little bit more information here, like the 30-day mean error. What about other assets? As you hover over each of these assets, you can see recently the market hasn't been doing so hot. So Nomics has a lot of very dreadful looking predictions, a lot of negatives here. But in order to see the top assets, let's say we wanted to select some of the top assets to add to our portfolio. All we would have to do here is select this seven day prediction. It will automatically sort by the highest predicted assets over the next seven day period. And let's see what Hex is predicted to perform at. So 
Namix is predicting HEX will increase by nearly 55% over the next seven days. And similar for a couple of these other assets, Phantom, another 55%, Celsius, almost 50%, and so on. So these are the top asset predictions on Namix at this time. Moving on to some of the other services that are provided by Namix. As you can see, all of this data here on their landing page or their homepage is completely free to access. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to register an account. You don't have to pay. All of it is free, but they do, of course, have paid services. The main paid service that they have is for data access and for API keys. Their API services allow you to connect to their servers, access the data that they have, and use that data for your own services to plug into resources that you have. If you're developing an application and you need some data, they have uh, resources for developers that need that sort of data. So if you wanted to get an API key, all you'd have to do is select API key. This will take you to their API landing page where you can learn more about their APIs, the different services they, they provide, and you can email them directly through their contact sales form to begin getting access to their APIs. And finally, besides the APIs, they also do have some other exciting information on their website. For example, product rankings. You can see the way that they've ranked different products, whether it's uh, tax services or wallets. They have a variety of different resources that they've provided to rank these different uh, websites, companies, applications, so that there's more transparency into how the industry operates and how we can view this industry as it continues to grow. Let's take, for example, the top 72 cryptocurrency events. In this category, we can see the top events that are going on in the cryptocurrency space. Of course, we have consensus. Consensus has become a huge event over the last few years. And as we scroll, scroll down, we can see additional events that are happening all around the world for people to participate in. And then if you want data about specific exchanges rather than just the assets, you can select exchanges. You can see the different exchanges that they support on their platform. They have ratings for these exchanges. They have transparency ratings for these exchanges. And this helps us understand where we should be looking when we're thinking about exchanges, which exchanges we wanna host our funds on, which exchanges we wanna trade with. Okay, great. So let's go back to the home page. The Namix website is a great resource for traders, for investors, for people who are looking to simply explore and learn more about the industry. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Otherwise, we hope to see you in the next video.